It's a pretty simple little process, like three steps. For example, if you have uh, two and one half times one and a third, two and one half times one and one third. First of all, you multiplying, so you don't have to line them up upside of right them up down. First thing you have to do, anybody? Yes, make them proper. Okay. You cannot, people, I see people do this all the time, they multiply the two times of one and get two and one half times one third is one sixth. The answer to this is not two and one sixth. Now, so that we get that out of your mind. First thing you do is make them improper, which means what you do, two times two is four plus one is, this becomes five halves. One times three is three plus one is four. This becomes four thirds. Step number one. Step number two is like always, you multiply across, multiply across, it means 5 times 4 equals 20, and 2 times 3 equals 6, and step number three, ladies and gentlemen, anybody know what step three is? In math we call it simplifying, but it can mean a bunch of things. In this case, you're going to have to both reduce and change into mixed, if you need to. As a personal preference to me, I like to reduce first. It just makes the whatever, uh, what number goes into both of those two. Divide both by two, you end up with ten thirds, and ten thirds is what? Next number, Jaden, shoot. Um, three and one third. Two and one third. Sound relatively simple? Let me give you a couple for you to try here. Uh, how about one and two thirds times three? One and two thirds times three. And maybe one and one half times one and two thirds. One and one half times one and two thirds. And on your assignments, of course, you need to write down the problem as it is there and then follow those steps. But go ahead and do that top one for me. Let's see if we know exactly what's going on there. One and two thirds times three. Two thirds times. three-step process, make and proper, multiply, and simplify. Proper, multiply, simplify. You would end up with, the Drew says, the first one. Oh, I got the second one. You didn't do the first one? Well, I'm doing the first one. Okay, perfect. For the first one, Elijah? Five. I don't know. Let's see. So you made this, what, five-thirds, correct? How do you make three improper? You put it over one. You multiply across, which is 15 over three. You simplify, three goes into 15 five times. The second one, Drew, you've got what for an answer then? Five halves. What do you think? Half five halves. That's not simplified. That's an improper fraction. Five halves is what? Mixed number, sir. <coughs> That was correct. You made these both improper, right? This is three halves times five thirds, correct? 
multiplying across, you end up with 15 over 6. Reduce them. 3 goes into both of them, so you divide them both by 3. You do get 5 halves. As a mixed number, 5 halves is... Isabel? 2 and 1 half. Do need to do any more? Now, with that...